How's it going everyone? So today I'm here to show you two different versions of the map Fortress from Halo 4. This map was cut ultimately, but it is probably one of my favorite. Um, so let's check it out. We got one uh, dating back to September 19th, and then we have another build for this map uh, dating back to December 22nd, 2011. So we're going to go into the one from September 1st, and then that way we could see the differences. I'm also going to get a whole bunch of reference angles so that you can create these into Halo Infinite Forge maps. So this is the first one from September. Pretty much the same appearance, by the way, at least how it looks, but you can definitely see the changes once you see the second map. So first of all, I'll just, you know, show off the aerial view of this map. Here is Fortress, and as you can tell, they utilize the Halo 3 Sand Trap sandbox, and you can even see the towers. I'm not sure if they're going to update that or not, but either ways, it is really cool to see. I'm going to quickly make myself invincible so I don't, or deathless, so I don't die when I show this off. But yeah, I'm basically going to get a whole bunch of angles for you guys, that way you can recreate this in Halo Infinite Forge. Um, and first off, for, first off, I'm going to get some aerial views. And... The differences between this map, just you know, heads up, and the next one I'm going to show is pretty much where the bases are at. As you can see, they're a little too close, you know, to to each other, and it kind of makes the map kind of small. It kind of eliminates the reasoning to use this outside area. Um, so eventually, they move these bases outward onto the edges of the map. But we will show that in the next clip. So stick around for that. In the meantime, I'm just going to show this part off. I'm not sure which layout I actually like more. I do like this layout, at least the way it looks, but the other one kind of does make more sense when it, you know, when it comes to gameplay. I'll even show you guys what it looks like under the map, so that way you can get some under, you know, underground views, and then I'll also run through the map. Uh, if you're in need of reference, so you, you know, so you know what the size of everything is, just refer to all the vehicles that are on the map. Or you can even see the spawn points. Remember, those are just player bipeds animated from Halo Reach. <laughs> you know, I think they're still in Halo Infinite. Actually, I'm pretty sure this exact same model is the same one they use in Forge for Halo Infinite. Um, but anyways, so here we go. We got another side angle. Bear with me, uh, someone's going to get mad if I don't get all the good angles and also just kind of get it straight. So, I'm just, the more the merrier, right? You can always skip a little ahead. So in this version of the map, you got all these little outside covers and, you know, like I was saying, there isn't too much going on around this outer ring, but it is there and it's pretty cool. Instead of just like having, you know, things pop out of the sand and destroy you, I guess they just had a wall, which I'm sure you can hop over, but, you know, you have a timer. Uh, now I'm just going to kind of go and show you what it looks like while you run through the map now. So here is the red base. You got spawns, you know, all over here. And then you'll either get in a vehicle or you'll just start going through here. This base kind of reminds me of the coagulation, blood gulch, you know, bases, but with the angular points. As you can see, it kind of reminds me of an Egyptian, like, dog or something. Uh, but, you know, it's fine to have Egyptian themes, especially for Forerunner, ancient Forerunner sand, you know. It all fits the same thing. Even the Halo 3 one kind of reminds you of uh, an Egyptian uh, Egyptian tomb or something. Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's just run through this block out and see what's going on. I like all the lighting they have in these maps. They already got the the red lighting for each side and all that stuff laid out, which is cool. I also like these little little guard, you know, things over here. I'm not really sure what they are. You know, what are those? What are those guys? Huh. But anyways, let's go check out some more stuff. We're gonna run up top real quick, so if you didn't go up through the bottom, you know, in this little area, then you would be able to just run up here. Looks like you got a ramp going this way. 
And then you got the two side paths. And then you can also fall straight down to the bottom. Looks like there's about three levels. And then, again, it's very symmetrical. And then, let's go downstairs and check it out. What do they got down here? Ooh. So if you run around the base, you can see that you can either run into this level, which is like a bridge, I believe, that's going across right here. Or, you can actually come around, go through the very bottom, which has this blue lighting, which kind of reminds me of like a blue, you know, Forerunner lighting, especially from Halo Infinite with the ambience and all the reflections and cube maps. You know, and then each base on each side has this underground area as well. So, you know, you can use this map for multi-team or whatever. I like how they already planned out, like, jumps and stuff. Get over here and... Oh. <laughs> I am... I got my controls all different in, in here. But, yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's pretty cool, you know. And run up here and check out what's going on. But yeah, I mean, I guess we've already seen the other side, so as you can see, it is symmetrical. You got the underground area, or you got entrance to one of the you know bases. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, for the walkthrough. But what I will do is get a better angle of underneath the mass. It's not easy to control. Alright, well, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this angle since so it actually works. So feel free to use this part as a reference as well. And now I'm going to go on to the next part of the map. Uh, before this little flip ends, I will show you some cool stuff that was part of this build. Now, you can skip here to the next part where I show you the next version of the map, or you can stick around and see what cool objects are hidden inside this map file. You'll notice that these weapons have a special ability that the uh, next build does not have, and it's basically zooming in with your ADS. It's something that was prototyped at this time, in Halo 4, but ultimately they went back to the classic style. But yeah, um, I should probably just show you this stuff before it all disappears. Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Where did I spawn everything? I'm gonna ride my master, master horse over there. <laughs> Oh man, the running animation is quite funny. Alright, it looks like it's still here. Good. Sometimes these things disappear. So you got this. I'm gonna go in first person real quick. So you can't really see what it looks like. It's pretty messed up. And I think that's just my normal AR. Here we go. This is a cool, cool weapon. What, we, what is it called again? The Night Pistol. With a cool zoom. So yeah, like I was saying, these guns have these ADS in them. What else we got? Alright. It looks like it's just a placeholder for something that looks like a plasma pistol. It even has a symbol for it. It's like a sniper version of this. Okay, the plasma rifle version is pretty cool. Pretty funny zooming into these. Ooh, that's nice. This actually has a different model than the other one. If you haven't noticed, um, what all it does is like charge up and then release. Um, but check out the model though. It's a little bit different than you probably remember. You like how that little back canister is? 
But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, what do you guys think about all these weapons and how they behaved in this version of it? Um, but yeah, that's that's essentially everything for this uh, this version of the build. But, all right, here we go for the December twenty first, two thousand eleven version of this map. Like I was saying, it is very similar, as you could instantly tell. You can also see updates to the HUD and you know. Just in general, the build, there's a lot of little differences. Oh, <laughs> it already kind of looks like Halo 4. The the HUD's there, the weapon looks like Halo 4. Um, but yeah, am I playing at a faster rate? Uh, game speed's normal, everything's normal. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. One thing I like about this version is... You got some cool vehicles. Like the Pelican, for example. I love how this Pelican in this build looks. Like, basically just the Reach one. But, here is the other version of the map, guys. So what you got is this middle base now. Instead of just like, you know hanging out in the open you got like a like a fully covered base and then instead of having these little coagulation bases at the very end right here they actually made them at the end of the you know sides which is you know it, it, it adds scale to the map it also utilizes these outer you know rims and now that you will go to the outside of the map they also took the sand trap terrain and or you know kind of dropped it down so that there's like a, a boundary that way when you get over there you'll probably just die um if you can <laughs> but as you can see this is probably a way more fleshed out version um than what we got in the last version but then again like like i was saying it was a cut map it was ultimately cut period not sure if the play tests didn't work out or if it was just like not finished in time or like who knows it's, it's, it's hard to tell but you know I'm not sure if this version's better or not but just based off you know common sense I would assume it is the layout just seems like it would play better but um yeah I'm just gonna get some really good angles on this and uh yeah I go from there before I go too far though I'm gonna enable deathless player just in case So, well, first let's get that aerial view in. Alright, as you can see, we got the full aerial above view, which looks pretty damn cool. And then I'm gonna go down and get some side angles. And I'll also get, you know, from the underneath as well, like I did earlier. It's a side angle. You can hear the pelican coming in. So you can see there's also a pelican crashed on the map, which is really cool. And again, you can see the vehicles, so if you need to use them as a reference, uh, you can see how everything scaled and everything like that. I like this version of the map better, though. I think this one's a lot more fleshed out. So, honestly, if you want to use this one for your map, it'd probably be better. But, you know, it's I figured I'd do both, and honestly, it's pretty cool and it, you know, to learn that this is what you know the the lead development of this map is pretty cool and it's so so terrible that it got cut to this day i'm kind of sad <laughs> but hey guess what now we got halo infinite forge and it is amazing i think some of these people are including myself are gonna make some really awesome maps and i can't wait to see what everyone creates so these outer you know covers are still here and then you also got some more rocks and stuff, and it looks like it's more lifted up off the ground. So that's, ooh, that scared me. That's even more added detail from the last ver uh, version of the map. And then let's go check out these bases. So each base has its own little, you know, area that you can drop down, similar to how it was before. Uh, and then it has some grav lift shooting off to it. But what's even crazier is there's a secret in this in this base. And it starts with a C. And her name is Cortana. If you hold X, you can capture Cortana. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, tr I'm trying to sound creepy, sorry. Um, anyways, but yeah, you got Cortana down in the base hanging out. I don't know, There's all the maps in this build will have a setup like that. I don't know what they were doing. It seemed like they wanted to have, like, more of an AI involved with the actual game. And then you got this over here, which... I don't know if it's a rock or a ship, but it looks like a rock or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. Because that's definitely not a rock right there. Um, maybe it's just cliff edges or big rocks underneath the ground. But now you got the nice side angle of the map. <laughs> uh, for, and again, if you guys are tired of hearing me, you can always mute the video and just wait for the angle that I <laughs> that I provide. Because <laughs> I really do just got to keep talking. Otherwise, the monetization will go away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, it's just frowned upon. Down, you know, whenever you use fair use, you got to transform the video. So I'm going to start off from one base like I did in the last one. So I'm going to start out all the way over here and just play it like a normal map. So let's see. You spawn again, like within these areas. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry guys. And then, you know, you can go down, click on Cortana, or you can go on the graph lifts. You can grab the tank. You shoot over here. You can go down underneath. Or you can go through here into the center building. Uh, first off, I'm going to go down and show you guys what's down below. So each side, you know, area has these little entrances. And then, like I showed in the last video, a lot of this stuff in this area is the same. You got this little center bridge where you can, you know, go between each side this way. Or you can go through this little center area. And besides that, I'm going to go up top again. Alright. Cool. So, it, it, like I was saying earlier, you can use this map for multi-team or something probably, because, I mean, these are essentially, you know, little bases on the side, but they probably work for all types of game modes. Then you got this little center area. And I don't know what the heck. What are you doing over here? Um, <laughs> like, I think those are like capturing zones. I don't know. You like put down your AI and then they capture those in area or something. I don't know. What else we got? More bases. Drop down in here. Bam. And like I was saying, these side areas are like little bases of their own. And when I hold X, nothing happens. I think you have to be in that game mode, not in Forge. Which I could probably test out that, honestly. I was curious to how it functioned. So if you're making a Halo Infinite Forge map for this, um, one of the cool things that you can add to your map that is also in this map is a vehicle pad. So in this version of Halo 4, they are prototyping vehicle pads and constructing new vehicles and stuff like that. So, as you see right here, if you hold X, you can construct a mongoose. But, yeah, they're prototyping all sorts of things that you end up seeing in newer Halos. And, I mean, they, they prototyped a lot of stuff that 343 brought out that was probably prototyped in Bungie games. You know, I don't think anyone disliked any of that stuff, though. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, I'm going to show you that center building real quick, and then I'm going to fly underneath the map and get some more angles. I already showed you this, but just in case. So remember, the center is just like this. Got the three doors. One door on each side, and then three on the other side again. Two of the doors go to a down ramp. The center one goes to a center top ramp that goes up and then down again. And then they all kind of meet at the end. And remember, these bases are pretty much like... Uh, if you're when you're building them, I mean, if you look at them, they're pretty much like the coag bases, but they got the angular, you know, geometry, like the Egyptian dog or whatever I said earlier. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope I got everything for this. 
I'm gonna now fly below the map. See if I can get a view of it, you know, before it just like disappears. Oh, there we go. I was trying to get out of my body so I don't die. Whenever you fly too low, you just teleport back up to the map. It's really annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna have to do it like that again. You live and you learn, right guys? <laughs> But here's the structure from below. And remember, it's pretty much just using the sand trap be uh, geometry for the outside. I'm sure you can remember and just you, you, there's plenty of references for that as well, if not. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry if it dragged on for some of you, but I wanted to be thorough, you know, this kind of thing. You don't want to, like, miss anything, you know? You want to, like, kind of check everything out. But, yeah. I guess that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will catch you on the next one. <laughs> oh, peace out. <laughs> All right, bye.